Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. As the recording of this, it is Thursday, October 19th, 2023. I am in St. Augustine, Florida, and I'm at Bucky's. Been out most of the day, running some errands, gallivanting around, just felt like getting in the car and driving. Needed some, some driving time. Made it up to 95, I-95. Earlier, stopped and had a coffee at the Daytona Beach Bucky's. And now, later in the day, obviously not on camera drinking the coffee, but now later in the day, I am here at the St. Augustine one, and I am going to do a food review of some Bucky's treats. Now, Bucky's originally started in Texas many years ago, 10 years ago. Hard to believe I've been doing videos that long. I would go through Texas and they did not expand out of the state yet. There was one time I went into a Bucky's with flip flops on and stepped in something before going inside the establishment and ended up smearing that all over the ground and it was on the bottom of my flip flop. It was quite the, it was kind of disgusting. Now I'm hungry thinking about that. Also, there is an overload of gas pumps in this particular one. I believe this at one point was the largest one there was and then Daytona opened theirs or maybe I'm getting reversed. One of them. Either the Daytona or this one at one point was the largest one of this particular franchise. And I say franchise now because they have branched out way out of Texas. They're in Florida, Alabama, Georgia, possibly some other areas. They're just, they're taking over. I'm going to get some food. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? You ever have those times where you just feel like getting in the car and driving, no real rhyme or reason? That was exactly what I've pretty much been doing today. And stopped off at a couple places on the way as well. Don't need fuel fueled up elsewhere a little bit earlier. I also believe that they're doing something in Daytona. It's not Bike Week, but Bike Toberfest, I think, is happening. Which I'm not going to be attending. I've been Bike Week before. But when you go, to a Bucky's, there's always a sculpture of the beaver himself. Bucky's right here. Look at this. Little Bucky's. So this is the St. Augustine one. I should probably pull up the photo that I have from earlier when I was at the Daytona one. Earlier this morning, I was driving around. Take a look. Right there. And even though not in Texas, there was someone wearing a cowboy hat like a Texan. Right there, down in Daytona. This is the St. Augustine, one of the two on I-95. Tons of ice machines. I've covered Bucky's a lot of times, but I don't know if I've ever done an actual full review. I haven't eaten all day, so besides that coffee, my belly's been pretty empty. Oh, get some brisket. They are, dare I say, some of the best brisket you can get. And you can even get merchandise like a turkey fryer pot kit right here as well. And they really tap into the merchandise. Life is better when we are, when we gather. Oh, they've already got Thanksgiving merch out. Oh, he's rolling, rolling some baskets through here. They even have Thanksgiving gather together socks right here. The little socks, crew socks. And of course they also have the Halloween. It's not quite how All Hallows Eve yet. Look at this right, it's like a Bucky right here with the little vampire teeth. And a way to spell how, not howdy, but how, how'd why. Howdy, it's spelled, spelled a little differently. Quite right. an assortment of different things. You got a club melt, you got a fried chicken sandwich, you got an apple pie right here, sliced brisket. You got the beaver chip, I think I'm gonna get some of the beaver chips. You got chopped brisket. You got a big bucking brisket sandwich right here. Ooh, a three meat sandwich. Sausage on a stick. Sliced turkey sandwich. Pulled pork right over there. And even a whole bakery section. A cinnamon roll down top of down there. A peach muffin. Raspberry almond bar. Pecan bar. Beaver tail. All right, first option. I'm gonna get the chopped brisket sandwich. Oh my gosh, that is girthy. And next up, the Beaver chips. Got some white checker cheddar, Bucky's nuggies, chili lime pork rinds, and an overload of beef jerky. This whole area here is a beef jerky area. They got sausages, chickens over here, and that's this is all entire world famous jerky wall. And this is all fresh jerky. Korean barbecue, teriyaki, cherry maple, peppered turkey right over here. 
They also have burritos. They have beef burrito, veggie burrito, chicken burrito, Texas cheesesteak burrito, and also the chicken fajita, fajita taco. You know what? I don't feel like I'm gonna get, should I get the Texas cheesesteak? Or should I get the beef, I'm gonna get the beef burrito. And they have red and green salsa and one free BBQ sauce cup with any item. An interesting thing about Bucky's is they do not allow 18 wheeler trucks on their property. So you have to have just an RV or, I got an assortment of little food products here, or a vehicle, motorcycles, or a car, automobile, car. There's also no picnic tables, so you have to pretty much tailgate or eat off your hood or eat while you're driving. So I'll probably just eat off the hood or find a place to to eat this stuff. But yeah, I don't have any picnic tables. You can basically file this one under Bucky's, your block Bucky. Bucky, Bucky is obscured. Here we go. Trying to get that in there. Bucky is obscured by the bag in my arm. All right, eating off of the hood of my car. So I got the chips here. I got the brisket sandwich. I'm gonna be really full after this, but I got the beef burrito, all of them with a lot of girthiness. Also got the fried apple pie. I figured might as well go with an apple pie. I do like some apple pie. And the chips here. I like this kind of chips. Very crunchy. All right, the sun was kind of at an odd angle, so. It's kind of facing this way now. $8.49 for the chopped brisket sandwich. Didn't realize it was that much, but that's how much it is. $8.49 here, the brisket sandwich goodness. And it comes with a little, is that salsa or is that barbecue sauce? I think this is the BBQ sauce. Oh, I just dropped the chips everywhere. That's the barbecue sauce. Here's the brisket sandwich. Just like a Texas tradition. Oh, look at this, hold on a second. Look at this immense amount of meat on there, right there. That is good. So you take the BBQ sauce and drench it in that. I don't mind drench it, I'm gonna put a little bit. Oh, I'm dripping it. Oh, there's already sauce on this. Oh, I just spilled the sauce. Oh yeah. Now I am not an expert on barbecue and brisket. But what I have had, there's not much that really tops this. Oh my gosh. And this is from a gas station. This is from, what's the Clark Griswold quote? quote I'm so hungry I could eat a sandwich from a gas station. All bets are off when it comes to the brisket sandwich from Bucky's. This is next level good. This is like going to like the most legit barbecue place, ordering a brisket sandwich, but you're getting it at a fuel stop. That's tasty. Fun fact about Bucky's, when they started expanding out of Texas, I looked up maybe purchasing stock of the company. You can't buy it, it's not a publicly traded company. And then I got to thinking, what if the workers in here can get stock, or maybe they have a stock option. Like let's say you work 20 hours a week part-time or full-time 40 hours a week, whatever the hours are. Can you take part of that and invest that in the stock? I thought, what if I got a job at Bucky's like 10 hours a week, took all that, put it in their stock program, and then over a series of time, you would be probably pretty wealthy from the, the way the company is progressing and really doing well. They don't even offer it for their employees, according to an employee I talked to a while back at another location. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what he was saying. Oh my 
Gosh, this is so dang good. I don't know if it's a genius move or unintelligent to not have picnic tables because everyone's just sitting in their cars. I'm the only person out standing here talking to a camera doing this. It's probably to prevent loitering. I didn't even need to get the burrito. This is a this is a meal in itself. There is a lot of meat on this. This is literally one of the best brisket sandwiches I've ever had in my life. Worth a drive from Orlando, celebration, Central Florida, over to the coast. Right on 95 there are two. I wish that they would build one on I-4 going to Tampa. Going to Tropicana Field games would be nice. Going from Celebration, heading to Tampa before you get to Ebor, Tampa, and St. Pete. It'd be nice if they built a Bucky's there. I predict that they probably will at some point. I'm gonna dip it in the sauce. I gotta admit, I'm not big on barbecue. Sometimes I'll eat it. Years ago, me and Jacob the Carpetbagger did a road trip. We did 10 days of barbecue in a row. After the 10th day, I felt very unhealthy. But I don't crave barbecue like a lot of people do. But this would make me crave this. If I was to eat this every day for like three or four days, I would want it every day for the rest of my life. I had a water in the car. I've been trying to drink soda. Not that this is like the picture of health when it comes to eating food, but I've been trying to drink any soda. I haven't had soda in quite a while with the exception of like some Club Cool at Epcot, like a little, you know, a shot glass or something full of Club Cool Beverly or whatever the other flavors are there. I do. That's three quarters of a, of a Zephyr Hills water right there. Beaver chips, which are better than just getting a bag of chips. I didn't get any beaver nuggets this time either. Try not to spill the salsa this time. Six dollars and ninety-eight cents. So these are not inexpensive. They're not going to like bankrupt you. They're definitely not cheap. But I will say, worth worth the price. This is a this is a beef burrito. And then I'm gonna put the salsa on there. That's good salsa. There's beans in there, so it's not only beef, it's also bean and beef. This is good, but the brisket, untouchable. Dang, there's some good meat in there. All right, that's pretty good. The brisket definitely takes takes the cake out of these, though. Not that brisket is cake. You can make a cake out of brisket. A meat-filled cake? Mmm. All right, the meat, the, uh, the beef that's in there, it's like taco meat. It has that taco, taco flavoring. We make homemade tacos and you put the like taco stuff on the ground beef. That's the kind of flavor this has. That is really dang good. No joke, this is really good. Little did I know it was gonna be as tasty as it was. I would get this again. I would definitely get the brisket again. But this I would get again and I recommend. I gotta start making the, the descent southward through Orlando back over to Celebration.
Man, my stomach is filled up with some bucky goodness. I was gonna say I need a sweet treat to top this off, but I realized I got one. I got a fried apple pie. Not talking about the pre-packaged items. You know, like bags of chips that have the Bucky's themed on it. Treats that are in bags, things like that. I just launched a piece of that meat onto my windshield. Throw it onto my side there. Those things aside, I don't think I've ever had a fresh prepared item from Bucky's that was subpar. They're all par or above. All of them. And the history would be going to this franchise. I'm old school Bucky's. I think the first Bucky's I ever probably went to and did a video on was 2012. Nah, let's say 13. 10 year anniversary of my love for Bucky's. Okay, the price of this. $1.99. It says caution hot on it, but I don't think it's too hot anymore because I paid the other thing first. This has a lot of cinnamon on it. Look at this. This like this has a churro amount of cinnamon. Kind of wedged on there. Alright, let's look at this. This is a fried apple pie. Pretty textbook for apple pie. Nothing overwhelmingly good, but it's pretty good. There's like a little crunchy, crunchy shell to it. Pretty good. Apple pie goodness. Pay no attention to me. I'm just eating an apple pie in the parking lot. Off I-95. The sunset over there looks beautiful. It's about an hour southbound from the St. Augustine Buckies to the Daytona Buckies. I decided I'm going to stop at the Daytona one as well. There it is over there. The second Buckies that I'm stopping at. I stopped at this one earlier when I was going up northbound up 95 and got a coffee. I think I'm going to get another coffee at the same one heading back southbound. <laughs> Nighttime edition. Nightfall has reared its head under the shroud. I don't even know what that word means, but I just like the sound of it. And I'm not going to consume them now, but I did get these to bring home with me. Beaver nuggets. And this. A chewy praline fudge. Something the old sweet tooth. With my coffee here. I got the extra large earlier this morning when I was driving around. Now I'm getting the, the medium to have with my praline. It's already dark now. All right, to be honest, I took one bite of this and I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat anymore. The thing is way too sweet, that praline. It's really good, but that's just too rich. <laughs> Maybe I just had one bite sitting here on my dash now. I think I'm gonna put it back in the bag. I don't know, I don't, I don't think I can eat that. It's like really, really, really sweet. I took like one nibble off of it and was like, oh my gosh. Traffic going I-4 westbound at 8.42 p.m. near International Drive. It's really backed up. Not sure why, but it is.
Like they brought the train out here, downtown celebration. Lurking over here in the shadows, but. Celebration Express right here. But they're gonna be having an event down here in the near future. Made it back. Just a little driving around today, which is kind of nice. I'll buy a couple buckies. Sometimes it's good to just get in the car and just go on a drive. That's what I did. Pretty late now though, it's 9.15. Traffic is really bad on I-4 doing some construction coming through Orlando. Kind of a short and sweet video. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next video of the vlog. It is. The trees look so beautiful. All that moss hanging down. The vlog is over.